What is up, YouTube? It's me, Cam, back to another Supreme Drop List video. I can't wait to show you guys everything that's coming out this week. Um, although I have to, I took a quick peek, and it wasn't the greatest uh, collection of stuff this week, which is unfortunate. But you know, we'll take what we can get at this point because Supreme's looking kind of weak right now. But I have a feeling we'll see a collab very soon from either North Face, Nike, uh, Adidas, North Face, Nike, or Vans, maybe. We'll see what happens. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this recording. Three, two, one, boom, you'll see it on the screen right now. Um, yeah, this week's drop list doesn't look too, too bad, honestly. So, week 16. First up, we have the Supreme Rain Shield Transparent Checkerboard Umbrella. This is actually a very nice item. This is one of those accessories I feel like is just going to pop off out of nowhere for whatever reason. Mainly because it's checkered, it's supreme, and it's a weird accessory like an umbrella. So, this is also the most voted item right now, but this is not a full drop list yet because, I mean, it's only Wednesday. But, and although, this is a very nice item, I would definitely suggest picking this one up if you guys are looking for resell this week for sure. 100%. Up next, we have the known as towel. And this is the we wanted to be known as Supreme. They had this on a sweatshirt. Honestly, it was like week four, maybe week five, something like that. Um, dope towel, definitely not really a crazy personal item. Not definitely, I can't see this reselling too well either, just because it's a, an obnoxiously large towel, and it's just. I don't know. I haven't really seen beach towels to do too well with Supreme, so. Hard to say at this point, but like I said, always the weirdest things pop off out of nowhere. But up next we have the Naomi Crew Neck. This one's really dope. I wish this came out back when they did like the whole Gons collab-ish collab. Um, but no, nevertheless, this is still a very dope piece. You got Naomi and you got the Gons kind of flames looks like. And you got blue, pink, and green, or blue, pink, orange, and green. I think the green one the best. That one's definitely my favorite. But, uh, I mean, it's now the middle of June. It's like 90 degrees outside. You don't need a crew neck. But, definitely still a pretty fire piece. I would definitely suggest picking that one up. If this is the full drop list. Up next, we have the warm up hood sweatshirt. Um, not a terrible design. Not too, too crazy of the piping and the like, micro logo. But,. The colors they chose, not too bad. I definitely like the white or green and purple. The black and white, I'm just contrasting colors. And the green and blue aren't bad. Even the red one's not that bad. The yellow one's kind of meh. I'm not really a crazy fan of yellow to begin with, so. But definitely decent selection of hoodies. Um, probably 158 like usual. Yeah, 158 right there. Uh, next we have the Overdyed Pocket Tee. These come out just about every year. Just, they have like that one, like this one's camo. They have these one that's a little different than the rest of them, but definitely still a fire piece. Definitely something you guys can always pick up every season. Next we have the Work Shorts. And these are just your average pair of Work Shorts. Nothing crazy. You got the American Flag ones that are a little bit different than a salmon pink looking one right there. But that's about it. Nothing too crazy with that. Oh, now you will. Yeah, that one. Sound of pink. Not terrible. Not terrible. Sorry about that. Someone just walked out. Um, Nick, we have the Dazzle Mesh short sleeve top. Oh my god. I saw pictures of this one on Instagram. Why? <laughs> like, this is like the cheap side of the Swarovski Crystal Block logo. Not, e not even. It's not even close, dude. Who buys mesh t-shirts? Who? In the comments below, if you buy this t-shirt, explain why. And explain how it feels, because I've never owned a mesh t-shirt. I've owned mesh basketball shorts, but never a mesh t-shirt, and I feel like that would just be weird. Up next, we have the world-famous coach's jacket. This is the world-famous Supreme Team jacket. This is pretty fire. Um... Nothing too crazy about it. Decent colorway. So we got black, green, blue, orange, and look like cream or pink. So not too bad, not too bad. Next we have the grid soccer shorts. These are meh. I am not a fan of these. I'm not a fan of these grid, grid pattern that they chose for these shorts. 
colors are not terrible, but it, it's kind of like this if you add the vertical stripes on it, but I don't know. I mean, the shorts might do well, but the tops, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Next, we have the embroidered short sleeve shirt. This is like the, uh, it came out like two weeks ago. It's the, uh, the cartel looking one. I can't think of it. Jacob Star bought it and I saw it on his thing and I reviewed it a couple weeks ago. But overall, this actually isn't too bad. You got some weird pockets on the bottom of it, but um, yeah, it's definitely a pass for me. But like, if you're trying to get like a, a nice, like, kind of almost dapperish look, you still want to rock supreme. I mean, hey, go for it. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, right now we have the grid soccer jersey. Um, I gotta say, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of these. They're not appealing to me. These are not standing out. Like, I have to buy that item this week. So, overall, this week is kind of trash. <laughs> not gonna lie. This week kind of sucks with uh, Supreme. But, I mean, you, get, you take some wins, you take some L's, you, you get some good weeks, you get some shoots. It's the name of the game. But, I mean, that black one isn't terrible. But, yeah, it's still definitely not a... Uh, not something I want to spend $70 on, but yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Be sure to stay tuned because FTP is dropping on Saturday, you heard it here. FTP is dropping on Saturday, so make sure you guys tune in for a live comp for that. Watch me get some vicious L's again, and uh, yeah, we should have an unboxing very soon. I got one package right here from FTP. I'm uh, waiting for two more coming, and I got one shipping confirmation. I'm still waiting for the other one to ship. Zach said they should all be shipped out by Friday, so fingers crossed that they are. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.